the job of the traditional lighthouse keeper must have been intrinsically dangerous and stressful. On top of the exposure to turbulent weather changes, as well as the enormous pressure of responsibility for saving lives through the prevention of shipping disasters and catastrophic accidents, was the solitary nature of the imposed lifestyle. Is it any wonder that, at times, huge emotional trauma inherent for this occupation has left psychic footprints of strange and powerful hauntings of these lonely and damaged souls? Today, we'll delve into some mysterious and terrifying backstories from seven haunted lighthouses. Number 7 Island Lighthouse The Seguin Island Lighthouse was built in 1857 and is the tallest lighthouse in Maine. One of the first keepers of this lighthouse stayed there with barely any company for several years. The only person who was with him was his wife, who became very lonely and would break the quiet of the night by playing the piano. Her husband, on the other hand, had no outlet for the loneliness and isolation he was feeling. He was apparently driven beyond the brink of madness and bludgeoned his wife to death with an axe before taking his own life. Many people claim there are sounds of ghostly piano music floating through the air from the lighthouse during the night, even though there hasn't been a piano in the lighthouse for many years. The lighthouse was decommissioned in 1985 and the Warren officer stayed overnight in the place to ensure that all the valuable items and furniture were packed away into a boat. The officer was woken up suddenly during the night. The bed he'd been sleeping in was shaking violently and he heard a voice scream at him to get out of the lighthouse. The officer was brave and so wasn't too perturbed by what had happened. Remaining in the lighthouse through the night to pack away the items he was there for and send off on the boat. The boat would never reach its destination, however, as it was sunk in a freak accident. Number six, Hasita Head Lighthouse. Places around the world have been haunted by tragic female figures wearing flowing pale dresses for centuries, and lighthouses are no exception. The Hasita Head Lighthouse, located in Yakats, a city in Oregon, is said to be haunted by the ghost of a mother who lost her baby daughter when she fell from the cliff of the lighthouse. The ghostly figure has been named the Grey Lady, as she is said to wear a long grey dress as she floats around the attic of the lighthouse, which has now been converted into a guest house. Visitors to the guest house report seeing flickering lights in the lighthouse when it has been empty, doors that apparently lock themselves, and objects disappearing and reappearing later in different rooms. A worker hired to replace a broken window in the attic was scared out of his wits when he noticed the grey lady was just floating around as he did his work. Naturally, the man ran for it. He returned to the lighthouse the next day to find that the shards of glass from the broken window had been swept up and were piled up neatly in the attic. The scariest case involving the Grey Lady happened when the photographer Steve Turrell was attempting to get a ghostly photo of the lighthouse when he saw a transparent figure watching him from the attic. He believed it was just his imagination at first, as he and one of his friends were the only people staying in the lighthouse at the time. He quickly realised that this might not be the case when he found the guestbook of the lighthouse in his room. The guestbook was opened to a page that recorded the ghostly encounter of the previous guest, causing Steve to reassess what he might have seen. Number 5. The New London Ledge Lighthouse The New London Ledge is located in Groton, Connecticut, and is the site of a mysterious event. One night, the US Coast Guard started their shifts at the New London Ledge Lighthouse in 1939. It wasn't long after this that the spooky incidents began. Legends say that 
a lighthouse keeper known as Ernie jumped to his death from the top of the lighthouse, landing in the ocean below. His body did not resurface and was never found. Some people don't believe that Ernie killed himself, but the official story of the incident says that Ernie sliced his throat using a fishing knife. Either way, Ernie allegedly never truly left the lighthouse. His spirit remained to frighten and annoy the Coast Guard members by knocking loudly during the night, pulling their bedding off while they were asleep and turning the television on and off at random. Some people couldn't stay the night and called the mainland asking to be taken back from there as soon as possible. After the lighthouse had been automated in 1987, there were a number of reports that boat crews had seen a figure in the lighthouse who signalled at them and tried to get them to dock. Whenever these reports were investigated, however, they never found a living person in the lighthouse. Number 4. Boone Island Lighthouse The scariest and indeed saddest story of the Boone Island Lighthouse, located in Boone Island off the coast of Maine, host to a range of tragedies and shipwrecks, revolved around a woman known as Kathleen Bright. Kathleen was married to the lighthouse keeper of Boone Island in the mid-1800s. She would relocate to the lighthouse with her husband not long after the wedding and begin what was supposed to be her happily ever after. This is where the story starts to get strange. One version of this legend says that the lighthouse keeper became gravely ill a few months into the marriage. Kathleen, shaken by the shock of his death, climbed the 168 stairs of the lighthouse tirelessly for five days to keep the light burning. She never ate and barely slept during this time. The light died on the sixth day. Locals rushed over to the island to investigate what had happened and saw Catherine wandering aimlessly. She had gone insane with grief and was exhausted and starved. There's another version of the story that says the keeper drowned when he fell into the ocean while attempting to tie up the island's boat. Kathleen pulled the husband out of the water and dragged him back to the lighthouse. She left his lifeless body at the foot of the staircase. She then went on to keep the lighthouse lit for five days without any food or sleep. When the locals arrived to see what had happened on the sixth day, they found her sitting at the foot of the stairs, clinging to her husband's lifeless body. Kathleen was taken away by the locals to be cared for but she died not long after. Many local fishermen in the area and visitors of the lighthouse have sworn they have seen the ghost of Kathleen Bright claiming to see the apparition of a sad young woman. There have also been numerous reports of a tragic wail <laughs> emanating from the lighthouse during the night and in stormy weather. A lighthouse keeper from the Coast Guard claimed that his dog chased an invisible entity across the small island while two more lighthouse keepers were left shaken up after seeing the light in the lighthouse come on when they were outside the lighthouse while alone on the island. Number 3. Suta Lighthouse The Suta Lighthouse was built in 1871 on Lizard Point in Marsden in the UK. Lizard Point offers great views because the cliffs are much higher than the ones at the nearby Suta Point but the lighthouse was named for Suter to avoid it being confused with the Lizard Lighthouse in Cornwall. The lighthouse was built to solve the problem of shipwrecks caused by the reefs under the shallow water. While it was able to do this, it also became known for being one of the most haunted lighthouses in Britain. Legend says that the niece of the famous Grace Darling, Isabella Darling, haunts the Suter Lighthouse. She is best known for her heroic attempt to save crew members from the SS Forfarshire as it sank during a storm in 1838. It's unknown just why Isabella is haunting the lighthouse, but census records from the time do show that she was living there in 1881. Staff of the lighthouse have reported seeing spoons floating in the air, unexplained drops in temperature, and even the occasional physical interaction with staff members. These staff say that they have found themselves grabbed or pulled by an unseen hand. Some visitors to the lighthouse have claimed to hear a female voice calling their names 
while other visitors report hearing crying and seeing the ghost of a young girl they believe to be Isabella. Isabella is said to be not the only ghost haunting the lighthouse either. There are other stories that tell of a waitress at the lighthouse walking to the kitchen one day when she stopped in her tracks. She saw a man wearing a lighthouse keeper's uniform waiting for her at the end of the corridor. He quickly disappeared, leaving just the faint smell of tobacco hanging in the air. Number 2. South Stack Lighthouse South Stack Lighthouse has earned a place in not one, but two books about the paranormal. Haunted Britain and South Stack, Anglesey's famous lighthouse. South Stack Lighthouse is located off the northwest coast of Holy Island, Anglesey, Wales and is notorious because of the spectral lighthouse keeper called Jack Jones. Ian Jones, an author from South Stack, says that the lighthouse was once a merry place until October the 25th, 1853, when the South Stack coastline was hit by one of the worst storms ever. The night saw the sinking of an unprecedented 200 ships, including the Royal Charter. Jack Jones hurried to the lighthouse as the storm rolled on. Just as Jack reached the bottom steps, where a local bridge connects to the island, a giant rock came loose from the cliffs above and crashed down onto his head. Jack managed to make it across the bridge, but only just managed to reach the lighthouse. He was in a terrible condition when he was discovered the next day, and would die just two weeks later. More than a century later, his ghost would be seen knocking on the door of the lighthouse in the middle of the night and rapping on the windows to try and get inside. After visiting the lighthouse, Ian Jones described being astonished by the amount of noise. Popular TV show Most Haunted took a trip to the lighthouse and found more than they bargained for when something that looked like a small horseshoe was flung at the host of the time, Yvette Fielding, as she walked to one of the outbuildings of the island. Another writer, presenter, Dave Stack, was skeptical at first when he visited the island but started to believe the legends when he noticed someone staring at him through one of the windows. He chased after the figure but found nothing as it jumped from the cliff and disappeared into the ocean. Number one, Point Lookout Lighthouse. The Point Lookout Lighthouse was built back in 1830 and has become one of the most haunted places in all of Maryland. The lighthouse would serve the community and ships for over 130 years before being decommissioned in 1981. It was after this decommission that rumblings about the supernatural started. Parapsychologist Dr Hans Holzer was interested in the reports and went to Point Lookout Lighthouse with a team of experts. They were able to make recordings of 24 different voices as part of their investigation. The voices appear to say and do different things, including talking, singing and swearing. One voice is heard saying, fire if they get too close to you, clearly as part of the recordings. The voice is believed to be related to Confederate soldiers held prisoner on the island. Holzer believes that the team were also able to record the voice of the original lighthouse keeper of Point Lookout, Ann Davis. A voice recorded on the staircase can be heard speaking fondly of their home. When the team smelled something terrible coming from one of the rooms of the lighthouse, Holzer believed that it was caused by the tormented spirits who were unable to leave. The smell quickly dissipated after he voiced this opinion. 